Welcome back to the Bowling Promotion 2022 Strike Tour Series. Today we bring you the fourth of nine matches in our Baker Team Series. The qualifying matches are complete for Division I teams, with Team Sirius and Team France advancing to face each other for the division title. Today we turn our attention to the three teams in Division II, and our first match featuring Team France's second team against Team Vega. Looking a little bit closer at Team France's second team, we have Celine Gordon, Captain and anchor bowler lefty Kenny Bio, Emma Friant, and Alexandra Lopez. Looking over at Team Vega, we have PWBA star from the USA, Daniel McEwen, Captain and anchor player and in beautiful form, Matt McNeil, Gwendol Jolief, again from France, and Colombia's Marie Jose Rodriguez. Once again, each of these teams in each division bowl each other once, and the top two teams advance to the division final, followed by a roll-off of the two division champs to determine the team series champion. Here we are, kicking things off with this Baker format. And once again, for Baker, each bowler bowls one frame. And since we have four bowlers and 10 frames, the first two bowlers for each team will actually bowl three frames. And Celine will kick, up, kick things off here for Team France 2 with a perfect strike on the left lane. There you saw Marc Chavez and Bruno Bedone. Marc, of course, the voice of the Tour de France and the anchor, the anchor announcer for the French commentary, and Bruno Bedone, our organizer and producer for the Strike Tour series. Here is our first shot from Danielle McEwen and a bad break for Danielle going a little bit high in the pocket and coming up for a smash seven pin. She looks at it, looks at it, waiting for it. Good shot, good shot. Oh, smash seven. The professional she is goes right about her business. Let's just go back and make the spare and not worry about the bad break. And she will, with no trouble, take the plastic ball and go right at that seven pin. Danielle, of course, a star on the PWBA BA Tour and one of the noted players out on that tour. Now we'll have our first look at Kenny B.O., who's the captain and anchor bowler. And Kenny using the venerable purple hammer. And we see more and more of this ball being a urethane uh, your thing ball to control the reaction on the lane, although it's strong enough that you can move in and swing it out on this gateway arch lane pattern and still have it recover. So that's the line I expect Kenny to be playing. And let's see how he does. Yep, right over 12 board and look at that finish on the back. Even though it's urethane, that ball is so powerful. It comes back and provides the strike and the double for Team France. So good start for the Team France 2, we'll call them. And now here's Matt McNeil, and his game is a treat to watch. Watch how smooth he is on his downswing. Just absolutely no pull, no fear. Just strokes through that ball, and a beautiful strike there by Matt McNeil. Matt McNeil, of course, the all-time scoring record holder at the USBC Championships. Uh, each year, and that is a, a record that is a the envy of every bowler in the world. Uh, Matt is just a phenomenal player, and in, of course, the USBC Hall of Fame. And here's our first look at Emma Friant. Emma throwing the Phase 2. We've seen quite a few of the Phase 2s here in this competition, and looks like she forced that a little bit, got a little bit to the right, and didn't quite make the corner off of this Gateway arch lane pattern leaving the bucket plus the seven pin. That would be the two, four, five, seven, eight combination. Lots of ways to miss this spare and costs her team some count. They do lead by five, and presumably if she makes the spare here, uh, we'll retain that lead. We have a French players to spare here because this uh, whole series is designed to promote the French teams. There's a beautiful spare. Perfect cover by Emma Friant. And speaking of French players to spare, let's look at Mr. Gwendol Jolief from France. And Gwendol, another left-hander. Three lefties out of our eight players today. He will also be playing the inside to out line. Very popular approach to this gateway arch lane pattern. If you look at the pattern, you can see 
quite a bit of oil in the middle. It tapers down to the 12 or 10 board and then goes pretty much flat from the 9 or 8 board out to the gutter. So if you want to have a little bit of hold, you need to move in right like just like that. And look at that steep turn at the back for Gwendol's shot, and it comes up for a, a solid 8-pin. And it's a beautiful form. Got all the leverage he needed out of that shot. Came screaming off the, the corner and comes up for an 8-pin for Gwendol Joliff. So failing to double now is Team Vega once again. They cannot put two together and trail by five here in the early going, third frame. Gwendol switches to the plastic ball and no problem right at the eight pin there, no problem. The Strike Tour Series is a special event organized by Bowling Promotion for the French Federation and the French Olympic Sport Channel for the promotion of bowling in general and the French teams specifically. And these French teams have been putting on quite a show here. You can see Team France in Division One advancing to the Division Final against Team Sirius. Of course, Team Sirius is hot, having put, posted two 250 games in their two matches. And now here's Alexander Lopez. Beautiful shot, a little bit late to the pocket. And a ring 10 for Alexandra. Once again, not able to post the strike on the board for Team France. So neither team really pulling away here much. There's a ring 10 here. And again, we've seen a little bit of play in these lanes. Um, this is the uh, uh, next round of the game four of this uh, off the fresh pattern. So things do carry down a bit. They do change a bit. And sometimes that can result in lower carry on the lane. So no problem on the 10 pin. So good spare shooting here. No unforced errors so far by any of these teams. Let's see if Maria Rodriguez can put her team on the board with a strike here. Maria, one of the several Colombian players to participate in this bowling promotion 2022 strike tour series. Yeah, pretty good looking shot. Gets it right out to the track. Turns a little bit early. Comes up high for a four pin. Once again, seeing some carry issues here. And that will once again make the lead five for Team France two. And here's Maria again switching over to the low friction equipment to go straight at that four pin. Don't anticipate any troubles here. And no problem. Stay tuned after the match. Mark Chavez will interview captains Matt McNeil and Kenny B.O. And if you are impressed with uh, Mark's American accent, as I am, uh, you can really enjoy it. To hear his, his French and his American accent is, uh, is pretty impressive. And, of course, he being the professional announcer for the Tour de France, the famous bike race. Here's another phase two shot by Celine Gordon. Perfectly flush first time. Let's see what she does here. Another beautiful shot, and what is that? That is a perfect pocket hit, and somehow leaves the 10 pin. Let's have a look at this. Crosses around the 15th or 14th board. Perfect shot, right through the pocket. Comes up a little bit high in that six pin, just kind of weirdly goes into the channel, and somehow doesn't take out the 10 pin. That's the strangest 10 pin I might have ever seen on a high hit, so definitely a bad break there for uh, the French team. And again, neither team really able to open this up. And a beautiful cover there on the 10 minute. Okay, top of the order for Team Vega. We'll be back with Daniel McEwen and Matt McNeil. And of course, Danielle uh, bowling the first, fifth, and ninth frames. And Matt McNeil bowling the second sixth and as the anchor player in the tenth frame. Here's Danielle. Can she come back after that bad break? And there's a ring ten for Danielle. Struggling to carry is almost everyone on this team. We've only had three strikes in our first ten frames, but only really one ball missing the pocket. So everybody's nibbling around the pocket. Nobody can really open it up and uh, put some strikes together here on this match. 
Once again, this is a Division II match. It is Team France 2 against Team Vega. The other team in this division, Team Orion. And each team will bowl each other once for three matches. The top two teams will advance to the division final. For the title of the division, the two division finalists will roll off for the championship of this Baker Team Series. Three points for a win, one point for a second place, and of course, no pins, no points for a loss. Here's Kenny Bio, and this is his second shot. Once again, the purple hammer, he struck the first time. Both he and Celine were able to put the only double together so far in this match, and Celine was unable to strike last time. And a nice shot there by Kenny, but again, a seven pin. So look at this carry problems that everybody's having on these lanes, and now, only a four-pin lead for the French team. Let's see if Matt McNeil next frame can break this kind of strike uh, drought we have going here in this match. And here's Kenny again switching over to the low-friction ball to shoot out the seven-pin. And no problem on the seven pin there for Ken. Once again, we're in the sixth frame here of this first match at Division Two. And we'll see each team bowl each other once. That looks like a altered reality, excuse me, a um, um, reality check, which is a smooth rolling member of the reality uh, series from 900 Global. And a beautiful shot by Matt McNeil for his second strike. He's the only bowler of the eight to throw two strikes so far. And a really good shot there, and he knew it. And right into the pocket, give me some carry. Four pins now, separating these teams, but more importantly, Team Vega now with the strike up with a chance to double up. Very tight match. And look at all those spares up there, so no unforced errors, which is the good news. Bad news is that people are struggling to strike. 12 frames and only four strikes. And here is Emma's second shot. Beautiful shot by Emma. That's what she expected to happen the first time. It just didn't make the corner that time. Let's watch this ball make the corner and go through the pins absolutely perfectly. Look at that beautiful form. Great balance. Got, got all of it. Turns up through the pocket. And no doubt about that one. So here we go, Ken, Gwendolyn Jolief, left-hander, put a double up on the board for Team Vega. It would be their first double here in the seventh frame. Came up high for an eight pin, his first shot, without a lot of luck. And pretty good looking shot there. Gets it in the pocket and gets the strike. Beautiful. He's like, thank you very much. And came up a little bit light, but got through that beautifully. And a little bit lighter from where he was last time, but that's a very reliable hit. Rips the rack, and a good shot there by the Frenchman. Now back to French team Alexandra Lopez. Let's see what Alexandra can do here with her face, too. Another good shot up the lane. Comes in late and gets the spin. Now we're striking. Good shot there. And watch the seven pin go out. And that will be Team France's second double. Big shot there. She knew it too because Team Vega had taken the lead and that gives the lead back to Team France. And we're back to a four pin match. Now, moving into the eighth frame with Maria Jose Rodriguez's last shot of this match. She can do. Gets it way right, but gets the friction, comes back. Boy, it almost went out, had too much of a good thing in that friction, comes back, for a, comes back for a four pin and gives them now the five pin deficit. It's been between four and five, just that one couple of frames where each team doubled. And now we're back to our five pin advantage for Team France, too. Once again, Maria right at the four pin, no problemo. 
Atlanta looking at maximum scores. 197, excuse me, 20217 for maximum for Team Vega. And 230, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 240 available for uh, Team France. So Team France has the advantage by virtue of the fact that they've struck in the eighth. Huge shot here for Zaline Gordon, pulling her third frame of the match. And gets it right dead flush in the pocket. Beautiful ninth frame there for Celine Gordon, and she knew it. And that is another lead change back to the French team. So huge shot there. And they're all set up for the 10th. They cannot at this point be shut out. Team France, and it will be lefty Kenny B.O. in the anchor spot in the 10th. And here's Danielle. She's had a smash seven, came up high, and gets a ring 10. Now finally gets a strike, does Danielle, and sets up Matt McNeil for the 10th frame. And it's a beautiful shot there, right over the 12 board. Very, very common place to play. And it's pretty much where she left that seven pin. Only that time the pins cooperated and she gets the strike. So it's up to Kenny. Kenny now can lock up this match. Basically, he needs the first strike pretty much to do it. And he can put the match out of reach. Let's see what he does here. And he gets it out, comes back through the beak for a 4-6. He got that left, and the ball, watch it jump off this dry. And it comes screaming off the dry. He did not expect that for a critical 4-6 split. So that's going to put, let's see, 180. <laughs> that's going to put the French team in the 2-0 range. And let's see if he gets enough count to force Matt McNeil to get the first one in the tenth to win. And he's going to get just one. So, so that's going to be 208. That is enough to force Matt McNeil to get the first strike. This is why you're in the anchor position. Let's see what Matt can do. They're on a 207 pace. So Matt McNeil must strike to win their first match. And nice and smooth gets around it. Comes up late. Oh! Rather weak hit. Comes up late for a weak seven. And Matt knew it. He leaves the seven pin. That means that Team France's second team will win this first Division II match in a squeaker. Really, no team able to dominate. And despite the 4-6 by Kenny B.O. in the 10th frame, uh, Matt McNeil unable to capitalize, unable to strike in the 10th. And it's going to be, and essentially, if Matt strikes, going to be a one-pin match. Matt disappointed in himself. I think he's been in that situation quite a few times. Needed the hit, and unfortunately, the ball got a little bit left, came up lazy, and didn't quite get that 7 out like he needed it. And of course, this shot, of course, gets the strike. And there's 207. So, a one pin match here. Team France 2 emerging victorious over Team Vega. And as we said, we will have interviews with both Matt McNeil and Kenny B.O. with Mark Chavez after the match. And what a, what a squeaker with Team France coming up with a critical triple. Enabling Kenny B.O. To, to, to withstand that 4-6 split in the 10th to eke out a 208-207 victory. We'll be back for the next match in Division 2 here in our next YouTube video. Please subscribe and you'll be notified when that video is available.
Strike Tour, la toute première édition ici, un match haletant. On a été jusqu'au bout. Il a fallu vraiment cette dernière frame pour départager ces deux formations. Équipe de France numéro 2, évidemment, Team Vega de l'autre côté. On va prendre la réaction avec Kenny Bio tout de suite. Kenny, c'était vraiment jusqu'au bout. Et cette dernière boule, on a senti la tension, on a senti la, la pression. Comment est-ce que vous, vous l'avez vécu au moment du lâcher Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé bah, Honnêtement, j'étais vraiment stressé. Je me suis décalé, j'ai fait un petit ajustement pour me dire euh, je vais compenser euh, le stress et malheureusement l'ajustement n'était pas suffisant. Après derrière j'ai eu de la chance euh, que Matt a eu des petits soucis mais a une bonne expérience quand même et on continuera euh, sur les prochains euh, événements pour euh, s'ajuster encore plus. S'ajuster encore plus et c'est vrai que malgré tout vous avez gagné le match et c'est le principal. Trois points l'équipe de France 2 qui rentre de plein pied dans ce tournoi. Finalement vous faites mieux que l'équipe de France 1 euh, évidemment dans la division 1. Euh, oui, après, euh, nous avons un adversaire différent, enfin, des conditions identiques, mais une approche du jeu vraiment différente. Donc, euh, c'est bien pour nous et je suis content aussi pour eux. Merci beaucoup, Kenny. On vous retrouvera tout à l'heure pour, pour la suite avec Matt McNeil, évidemment, pour la team Vega. Matt, what a dramatic experience going all the way to that final frame. There was a window of opportunity for you guys to claw, your, claw yourself back in the matchup. Didn't work out. Tell us what it was like from your perspective. Our team bowled great. I mean, every shot had a chance to strike. The first frame, Daniel upper deck seven, I strike, and then Gwendal with the stuff eight. I mean, that could have been a triple right there. So as far as bowling as a team, we did what we should do, and that's give every ball a chance to strike. And we did that, and the hits just didn't go our way. Um, I made a great shot in the 10th, and that's what you're supposed to do. You give the ball a chance, and uh, sometimes it always, always doesn't work out your way. Voilà, effectivement, il faut donner une chance à chaque boule. C'est ce que Matt nous explique, que le, le collectif était bien huilé, a bien fonctionné. Malheureusement, ça n'a pas été de notre côté en ce qui concerne cette opportunité. Mais en tous les cas, l'équipe a bien fonctionné et on sera de retour pour la suite. Obviously, we look forward to seeing more of you guys. There's another opportunity for you guys before elimination. We're not going to talk about that. You guys are going to come right back in matchup number two, right? Yes, we'll do our best and we'll be back again. Thank you so much, Matt. Voilà, Matt McNeil, évidemment, pour la team Vega.